Thank you for tuning in to Entertain the Geeky, your source for nerd news. Guys, what's going on? Entertain the Geeky here. Hey guys, we're gonna do our news now. So, I don't want to. I don't want to touch the bad news first. Let, let's go straight good news. Cable? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Intense cable. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. So, Josh Brolin getting cast as Cable. That is sick. That dude. wasn't even on my fucking. No, radar. but it's that's a that's actually that's an awesome pick. Thanos is Cable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, I saw a picture of Thanos, and you know it's Josh Brolin as Thanos. Right. And then I saw it next to a picture of Cable, and I'm like, actually, no, it, he works. It like, works. Like the jaws work. It's, you know, he was really good. I'm in, thrilled with this casting. He was really good in Jonah Hex. He was. I mean, and Josh Brolin's one of those actors that kind of just takes the role and makes it his own while not betraying what the role is supposed to be. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Awesome, awesome casting. So, so we've got Domino cast, we've got Cable cast, we've got Deadpool cast. He's got to get freaking yoked. So so we just got to know what the villain is? I don't even care. And and, and I It could be Deadpool and Cable just running oh, around and I'll be totally content. Remember that guest we had on Paul? Yeah. Back in the day? Paul, Paul's new theory is this, that Stan Lee is the Watcher. Oh, in the Marvel awesome. Universe. That would be awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> and the whole and like it's more than just one cinematic universe because Stan Lee's in all of the cameos, so yeah, it makes sense for him to be the Watcher. That's awesome, <laughs> right. Paul. That's I good, like the way you think. That's a good, good theory. So uh, Ubisoft is going to bring Monopoly to the Nintendo Switch. Okay, I'm avoiding the big conversation because I don't want to. I don't want to have it. Um, can I? Can I? Can I? Go off on, on a tangent real quick. Shoot. Rick and Morty season three premiered April 1st. I'm, yep. We're a couple days late here. What is with the internet's sad reaction to all of a sudden wanting the Szechuan so- sauce back? Yeah, nobody cared. Like, nobody cared before it was on, and now everyone's like, it was so good. Half you idiots out there who are complaining that you want it back weren't old enough to even taste it back in the day. Yep. And furthermore, you missed the whole point of, of what Rick was trying to say at that moment. It wasn't that he's on this quest for Szechuan sauce, it was, life is just meaningless. He's equating to, I'm on a quest for Szechuan sauce the same way you're on a quest to get into heaven. It's just meaningless. Dumbasses. That just got so dark. (laughs) But it's true. It's true. Um, Hey, Chris Evans thinks a Black Widow movie would clean up at the box office. Of course it would. Uh, Anything that Marvel puts their name on would... Would, uh, uh, of course it would. I, uh, and Scarlett Joe is freaking hot. And she's she does a good job as Black Widow. You know what, dude? I keep I I watched a uh, a leaked trailer for Captain Marvel. It, that that looks so sick. I love Brie Larson. I love that woman. I just think Marvel doesn't know what to do. Or the 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 studios don't really know what to do with Black Widow. She's a character that could support her Make own movie. Make a kick-ass spy movie. That's all you gotta do. That's not even hard. No, They've done it no. once. You Winter Soldier. You know what? You just have Sammy Jackson show up in the beginning of the movie and go, hey, go do this. And you the know, rest of the movie is Scarlet Joe doing that. You know what would be kind of fun? Um, is if they... If it was R-rated? Oh, hold on. No, no, no. So they, uh, they show the events leading into where she gets involved in the cinematic universe with Iron Man. Okay. How fun would that be? Yeah, They go can back. show her spying on Tony Stark, being integrated basically into the Avengers, getting Iron Man sucked in. Yeah. Going to recruit Hulk and all. Dude, that would be a blast. Speaking of which, so the projections are in that uh, the projection is that Guardian of the Galaxy 2 is going to make $150 million opening weekend. Good. You're going to take the over and under on that? Over or under? Uh, over. I think they might do 200 yeah, I think it's going to be over. Now that, well, especially since opening weekends are no longer just, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Thursday night. Well, for these type of movies, it's actually like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's kind of obscene, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's no longer a weekend. Why don't they just say it's the opening week? That movie looks so awesome, though. Nintendo has officially discontinued the Classic Edition. And we have yet to get our hands on one. The NES Classic? Yeah, the little guy. It's I, done. I still have a, an original NES. So I do too, but I don't I, need it. I don't have the 30 games that come on the classic edition. I don't edition. care. Uh, DC Animation is adapting a R-rated Watchmen I animation. I saw that. I'm actually, so the movie was good. The movie was really good. Um, is there any reason to do this? No. no. Am I excited? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, will I, will I sit down and watch it? Duh. Absolutely. It's, it's a way for them to make money off the Watchmen franchise again, with, again without sinking you know two hundred plus million dollars. Do some, do some uh, Watchmen would actually it'd be fun if they did some um, 
prequels. Well, they prequel did. Prequel comics. They did. Before Watchmen. They did, but they yeah. weren't. They what? didn't get enough publicity, basically. I mean, it's it got as much publicity as Watchmen did. It just wasn't that great. Well, that's not the publicity's fault that it wasn't that great. I guess that's fair. Well, did you, well, do you know why they're doing this? Well, like, honest to God, reason why they're doing this? Why? Guess who's coming to the the actual DC Universe? Watchmen are. That's yep. right. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Not just Warshack, the entire casting crew. No, all crew. of them are. You're right. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, that was part of the thing with the big uh, Convergence event or whatever. Re- yeah. Reanimation, whatever event they did. They were like, it's all canon. Hooray. Hooray. Um... Apple is reported to look at, looking to buy Disney yeah, for, for over two hundred billion dollars. <laughs> How much did Disney pay for Star Wars? Uh, not two hundred billion. It was a lot. Disney's worth more than that. I'm just wondering if they're looking just to buy like, like, are they going to buy just the Disney section of of this mass? No, they would. They would buy all of it and molest it. Uh, I I want. I hope to God Disney wouldn't sell. I kind of hope they do. Not, not to Apple. Well, I don't really care who they sell to. Um, big, 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 big. I was going to say something that was pretty big. And big I forgot, bird. Forgot what it was. Thor Ragnarok. Oh, dude. That oh, trailer. Dude. That, that, like, that is my new thing. Yes! I know him from work! <laughs> He's a friend from work! I'm going to I'm gonna start, like, like every time I see someone outside of work, outside of work, that's how I'm going to introduce You're going like, to scream yes? Well, uh, yeah, from across wherever they're at. If we're in Walmart, I'm going to go, Yes! I know him from work. Yeah, uh, uh, that that trailer got me so geeked for that. It looked it looks really good. I'm stoked, dude. It looks really. I'm, I'm really pretty thrilled good. about that. Well, we have yet to get just an awesome Thor movie. I think that's it. Well, and this one seems to have taken a different tone from the other Thor movies. Very. Like it's more Guardians of the Galaxy in tone more from whimsical. the trailer. More whimsical right. is what it appears. And. We're getting a Thor Planet Hulk mashup, which I'm all about, man. And Jeff Goldblum looks amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, the movie just looks freaking sick so far. It does. It looks really good. Um, have you watched Tokyo Ghoul yet? No, I've not. Apparently, it's getting a live action movie. Huh. Um, I've only seen a couple episodes. It's really good. Is it? It's for for an anime. Um, I'm not the biggest animator though. I'm not either. Like for anime, it has to be very specific. Like, like it has to fall into like certain categories. It's very hard, especially especially what I dub as new anime, because I'm a 90s kid. Yeah. So Trigun, Kebba Bebop, that's anime to me. This new Fandangle Tokyo, or um, Attack on Titan, crap. I just, I can't get into that. But Tokyo Ghoul's really good. I've got one anime that I'm about, and it's Roroni Kenshin. I know. I and it's know. so good. Well, they did a live action for it. That's sick. Uh, we're getting a sequel to Labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> it's that. But it's the original writers. The original there, writers. There was something else that uh, I just saw announced with original writers. Uh, coming to America. Yes. Eddie Murphy's yes. coming to America. And oh man, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. I know that's not really our show thing, but let's give him a moment of silence. I mean, that is our show thing. I mean, not general comedy. <laughs> Shut up. All right. All right. Um, Dread. The Dread producer Adi Shinagar wants to make a hard R Mega Man film. That'd be. Interesting. I would watch it. It'd be interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do just it. get into the nitty gritty. Let's do it. So. No, no, time out. I want to start on the good note. Uh, Del Toro wants Del Toro wants to make a Jabba the Hutt Godfather type Star Wars. That would be awesome. That series. would be so sick, dude. I would. I would watch. I would Absolutely. Freaking. Uh, I would watch it. Absolutely. I, I would. I Gilmore, would. Guillermo. Uh, Guillermo Del Toro. Is Gilmore a, Girls. Guillermo. Guillermo Del Toro. I can't even say it now. That guy is such a beast, though. He did that Troll Hunters show that I love. Uh, he did Hellboy. He did. No, he's awesome. Yeah, no, it's really good. He's okay. just awesome. All right, no. so let's oh, hold just on. Do it. Let's let's st- let's let's still stay good. Let's stay good. The trailer for episode eight. I have no idea what's happening in this movie, and I feel I'm more excited for this than I was when I saw the episode seven trailer. I was see I no, no? I was way more stoked for episode seven. Way more let down than I could possibly be with this movie. Um, so you think you think it'll be the opposite? Yes, I do. I think this is going to be a better flick. Well, because uh, I don't think they're going to rip off a freaking return or not, uh, Empire, Strikes, Empire Strikes, Strikes Back. They might. And if they do, I'm done. You know, you'll finish up the trilogy. I mean, I'll have to, but you'll have yeah, you'll finish out the trilogy. It'll I'll be, be okay. You know, 
I'll wait till it comes out on DVD. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. I will not see that in theater if it sucks. Yes, you will. If this one sucks, nope. Yeah, you will, because I'll take you. Nope. Yep. All right, so let's talk about the movies. No. While wow, they did the Star Wars live event. They, um, dropped an, they dropped an awesome poster, too, that looked really awesome. So, the poster is actually Make sure you check cool. it out. It's, a, it's on our Facebook page. But, uh, so, Ray's last name, Kenobi? I'm done. Hold on, I'm not done. I'm done. Finn's last name, Windu? You just take over the rest of the show. I'm not speaking anymore. <laughs> um, that is hysterical. No, it's stupid. It is hysterical. Like, it is stupid. Like, I hope. I hope it was just a... A like, goof thing? A goof. A uh, ha ha ha, we got you. It's not really Kenobi and it's not really Windu. That would be so funny, like, dude. I, like, I'm... I'm I, no. Do it. No. Do it. No. It's a, no. You see, it's a ripple effect. I'm done with this ripple effect. George <laughs> Lucas is not supposed to be involved in this. I am so freaking tired of... of first off, I was upset the fact that Rey looked like she was going to be a Skywalker. Now it's even worse that she's a Kenobi. I'm tired of this whole, now only two families control the freaking galaxy and the hope of the galaxy. 30 years that Ben was on a rock full of hookers and degenerates. And furthermore, how much... No, there's no way that it can be Kenobi. Here's why. How, how old is Rey? I don't know. She's like 18, 19. Okay. If that. How old was Luke when Luke met Kenobi? 18, 19. Yeah. Okay. You got 40 years between these movies. Ben Kenobi died when Luke was 19. Hold on. No, no, no. But you can make a baby no! with No! No! So in the past, he focuses metachlorians no! to the future. No! <laughs> no there's... The, the, that, that's right. It cannot be. It cannot be Kenobi. Oh, it already is, it can't buddy. Be. Look at how it's written. Oh my god. Oh my it, god the, ta- that's the time awesome. doesn't make sense. The timeline. No, Metaclorians. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, come on. It doesn't make sense. No, I mean Metaclorians. Like okay, okay. Even if Mace Windu somehow Listen, survived, the Force binds us and penetrates us. It's not a subject to time, so maybe they focus their Metaclorians. I'm done with this. This is so no, no, awesome. No, no. Your, your disdain here I'm so, is okay, beautiful. First off, even I, I can accept Finn being Mace Windu's child. Even if he sur- somehow survived episode three and da 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 da. I can get past. Okay. It makes sense. But. Would Disney troll us like that? Yes. You believe so? Disney would troll us like that. Disney, Disney would. Because they know that us little fandoms. Out there, like looking for every little microscopes, detail. microscopes out all the yeah, time. Yeah, all the time. Like, like you were like, oh look, only three of the rocks rose in the trailer, and there was four on the ground. What does that mean? Obviously, the dark side's in Ray. You know, that's the crap we look into. So yeah, they would have been like, oh look, quick little flash of of Ray Kenobi and Finn Windu. Ha ha! It'll drive them nuts. And I hope, I hope that's the case. How funny will it be if that's not? I'm done. I'm officially done with Star Wars at that moment because. I cannot understand how that time that time even if line, you get your uh, job of the hut Godfather done. I'm done even if even if I get job of the hut Godfather you know what I'll just go back and watch the regular Godfather and be fine with it no, I mean I'm done if that's the case it, I will say it now for all our three listeners out there if Ray if Ray's father is Obi Wan Kenobi I am done with Star Wars furthermore you will never hear me talk about Star Wars again I will bring it up often. And I will just walk I, out the I room. Will, I will bring Joe Moore. You bring Joe Moore. And we can have a good old time. No, because even Joe, even Joe Moore and his, his epic... God, why isn't he here right and now? And his epic bonerdom of, of I Love Star Wars would have to understand that the timeline doesn't make sense and it's just a cop-out. To, a no, cop-out. Meta- Metachlorians. It, it's a cop-out and a stupid story Roger. plot hole. It's lazy freaking storytelling is what it is. <laughs> Fuck you, Disney. Fuck all this. I'm done. <laughs> You just take over. Do what you gotta do. So, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell us what you think um, is really going on. Because if that is the case, if that is the case, that would be hilarious. Done. Done. Nope. Timeline. Time. Space. Travel. Wormhole. You heard me? Oh! No! No! First off, no, don't even go there because Star Wars is not the same as Star Trek. Hyperspace. What if they uh, enter hyperspace? Somehow they come back like, in time. He <laughs> no. ejaculated into hyperspace. Baby comes out. That's not how this in works. In the future. That's not how it works. Time travel is not a thing in the Star Wars universe. It's not. Yet. No. It, no, it's not. <laughs> good. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Disney. Done. <laughs> Done. 
All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. Um, I want you to go to entertainthegeeky.com. Follow us on all of our social media. Uh, we've been getting some love on YouTube recently, like two whole comments. Really? Yeah, it's been weird. Um, huh. And it's, yeah, yeah, we're getting that love. I don't know why. I don't know how. Two whole comments? Some The same person twice. So there's someone that we know? No. Oh. No, they're regularly listening, though. Um, hey, so, regular listener on YouTube, why don't you download us a two on, on, on <laughs> help us out, help a brother out. Yeah, because um, all the all the links and everything are on Libsyn. No, it's cool. Or it's on, cool. I mean, everything's listed in the YouTube thing, so you can go to our real RSS feed. No, it's cool. If he wants to get our, if he wants to get no, his I don't care. news, on, I don't care how on, you on get YouTube. it. Get it wherever you want. Um, so yeah, like us, follow us, love us, comment, hate us, whatever on all of our social media, and then. Then, go to beastescaperoom.com. Ah, oh, crap. What? I wanted to talk about this story real quick. Oh, do it. Go. So We not, got a minute. All right. No, no. First, let's finish our spot for right, well, beastescaperoom.com. Beastescaperoom.com. You know, Enter that promo code. Geeky. For 20% off your next one-hour escape room experience. Say hi to Ronnie Cobb. Right? Say hi to Ronnie Cobb. Though, I'm thinking we, we might want to, I might want to talk to him and see if we can change that uh, promo code to something else. If Kenobi ends up being Ray's, Ray's dad. Promo code, it's over. It's over. <laughs> um, just real quickly, uh, for the Magic fans out there, Clueless Mom almost sells Sun's Magic Collection for $9. It was in Japan. and then this Black cool... Lotus is no, in no. there? No, he had some power. He didn't have, like, this is just a stock picture. He had some power, but the collection was worth over over <laughs> ten grand. And she she put it on an auction website for 9 with a list of the cards. Once it hit five grand. She was like, whoa, and pulled the, pulled the sale down and tried to figure out what the hell was going on. What happened was her son left for college, left his magic cards, because that's what us nerds do. We leave our shit behind. And she was like, oh, let me clean out the room. Language, Roger. I've already dropped the F-bomb on this episode more than once. He's like, I don't even care, I don't even anymore. care anymore. It's over. It's over. Fuck it. Busy. <laughs> um, yeah, so she wanted to make some space, clean out the room, and she sold it. She tried to sell his magic cards. Oh, my God. Yeah. Could you imagine when he gets home, he's like, Mom, Mom where's my legacy, Dad? You fucking bitch! Like, that's when he'd start smacking his mom. Oh, yeah. I'd smack a hoe. <laughs> I'd strong arm my mom. Yeah. Um, Some my magic cards. On that note, guys, don't strong arm your moms. We don't condone that kind of behavior unless she sells your $9,000 magic collection. Or comic book collection. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, see? I that, see. I care yeah. about the comics way more. Yeah. So, okay. Why? They're, comics are easy, more, way easier to replace than, 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 than cards. Mm. Yes. No, it he, depends on the book. No, nope. depends on, on the book. Come on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Shut up. Shut up, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. You're right. It would be a lot harder to replace that single issue because of the value, but you can go out and buy it and trade for 20 bucks and get the block. Oh, that doesn't matter. It does matter. You're, no, you're talking a collection. Yeah. yeah I, if, if I'm uh, talking a uh, comic collection, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, you uh, said his magic card collection. You saw my comic collection, and I've got a few gems in there. Oh no, shit's gonna hit the fan. We saw that uh, spider edge of the spider verse. Uh, that's not all I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is something that, that, like, I'm proud of that one because I got it forty percent below cover price. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> but uh, uh, back when we had a discount. <laughs> no, yeah, right. But no, um, my, so I have a, a Bumblebee Transformers collection at my mom's house, and I have all my original Power Rangers stuff. I went home one time and my brothers had been fucking with my Transformer stuff. Not my Power Ranger stuff because they don't know where it is. But they had their dirty little fingers all over my Bumblebee stuff. Oh my god. Doesn't that, don't you want to see I them? fucking raged. I'm like, you fucking shitty kids! I yep. hate you! Yep. And yep. my mom was like, you really hurt your brother's feelings. I was like, go ahead, tell him not to touch my don't shit! Touch my... Yeah, no, no. Okay, fuck it, real quickly. <laughs> When the Star Trek CCG was a thing back in the day, yeah. I had a Borg Queen card, $75 card, fresh. You know, I had one just sitting out, getting ready to put it in the deck. I go to the bathroom, my brother grabs it and rips it in half and starts throwing it around the house. Just because he thought it'd be fun. Did you hang him? Uh, I can't comment on the air what I did to him. There's still legal proceedings happening. Guys, as always, stay geeky. Don't touch my shit. <laughs>